hello inspiring parents welcome today in this video i'm going to share some of the activities for teaching number counting all these activities are diy so that you can easily make these activities at home so let's get started today the very first activity i'm going to share is this rock counting activity this activity is very easy to set up for creating this activity just take a plain white paper and make five horizontal columns and two vertical columns on it make sure to make smaller column for the numbers and the bigger columns for the circle in the smaller column write numbers from 1 to 5 and in the another column just make circles corresponding to the numbers given in the first column for setting up this activity we also need some rocks i just collected these rocks from outside and washed them while doing this activity learners have to just put the rocks on the circles and count them Parents, next activity I am going to share is candy counting activity. For creating this activity, I took a cardboard and I made three candy jars on it with some candies in it. These candy circles are exact the size of the milk bottle cap circles. While doing this activity, learners have to match the numbers on the milk bottle caps and the uh, numbers on the candies. While doing this activity, parents make sure to count so that learners can learn the concept of counting. Next simple DIY counting activity I have arranged using simple cups. Here I have used three cups and labeled them with the numbers on it. I have also took some spoons. While doing this activity learners have to put the corresponding numbers of spoons into the corresponding uh, cups. Next DIY activity I am going to share is making this DIY counting board. For making this DIY counting board, I made a nature scenery. In nature scenery, I made one crab, two fish, three ducks, four rocks and five flowers because these things are easy, easily available to me. You can draw any other things that are easily available to you as well as easy for you to draw. If you don't want to draw any other any things on the cardboard, you can simply cut out pictures from the old magazine and you can glue them on the cardboard. And that way also that is also another way of making your DIY counting board. The first three activity we have used same or related things for counting. Last activity I have used different object for teaching counting and this is how the teaching progression should be used. This progression is very important while teaching counting especially to the learners who are just beginning to learn counting. Once the learner master and orient themselves to the concept of counting using this tangible thing that is the concrete object we next we can move on using or teaching the concept of counting using abstract things such as the things that are not touchable or tangible such as the uh, how many times the ball is bouncing or how many times you can hear a particular sound which needs more advanced level of uh, counting skills that's it for today if you like this video make sure to subscribe like and share see you next time with the next video